Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tanner, Tech Tanner, Tech Tanner. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. All right. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you an interesting effect that I found with my high voltage power supply and this knife and some sawdust on this wood. Now, I'm in the middle of making a Marx generator for my next video, and to do so, I needed some wood for the base. I wanted to test this wood to see what it acted like under high voltage conditions. And so I use my knife as just kind of a paperweight to set this alligator clip on the wood. And I notice something really interesting. What happens when I turn on my power supply? And it's what happens with all the sawdust and the knife. So right now you can see that the top of the knife is pretty clean. There's no other sawdust or anything else on it. Now what happens when I take this high voltage probe from my high voltage power supply, this is positive, and I put it near all the sawdust. It's really interesting. That is crazy, look at that. The knife just got completely covered with stuff. Now let's see what happens when we switch around the, the two power supplies. So let's try and make the knife the positive and this part negative and see if we can get all the little pieces of sawdust to fly off. That would be interesting. Let me just give it a quick switch. Alright, so the two power supplies are switched, so this right now is going to be positive and this is negative. Let's see what happens now. Oh. Still attaches. Oh, didn't want to do that. That's very interesting. Well, thanks for watching. Seems like those... Little pieces of sawdust don't fly off when the uh, power supply is switched. But the reason it just does this normally is because this thing is very uh, negatively charged. And what happens is this positively charged thing charges up the little particles of sawdust. And those, once charged to a very high voltage potential, are attracted to the very low voltage potential or negative potential of this knife and all the little pieces of sawdust attract to it. So there you go. That's a pretty cool video with some sawdust. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.